First, breaking news, a new search for a suspect wanted in connection to the deadly shootout on South Street as city leaders try to reassure concerned business owners. This is Eyewitness News at 6. We are streaming live on CBS News Philly. Good evening, everyone. I'm Jessica Cartalia. And I'm Natasha Brown in for Yuki today. Philadelphia police have just released a new photo of a suspect wanted in connection with this weekend's mass shooting. Let's get right to Eyewitness News anchor Joe Holden, who is live at South Street with the very latest on the search. Joe? Hi, Jessica and Natasha and Philadelphia police want us to share this photo montage with the public. Let's pull it up. They are hoping someone out there recognizes the individual on the screen. This is said to be the fourth shooter connected to all of the shots that were fired here on South Street on Saturday night. You can see in this photo some pretty clear identifying clothing. If you know any information, please call Philadelphia police. In the meantime, quite the show of accountability out here on South Street as people still reel from Saturday night. How did you guys find out about this? Surprise, reporters and cameras were on South Street as he and police commissioner Danielle Outlaw met with several business owners discussing safety concerns following Saturday's shooting. We saw that two shooters had permits, but they used their guns in different ways. The guns are falling out of the sky. And even if my expectation for somebody that has a permit is that they know how to properly use them and they use them within the containment of the law. 14 people were shot, three fatally on Saturday. The deadly explosion of violence has rattled neighbors and business owners and has placed the mayor front and center with questions can the city do more? Reporters first caught up with him at an unrelated event earlier Tuesday. We were prepared from a personnel standpoint with enough police to cover the events. Two guys with two guns decided to fight each other and shoot each other. That's, that's what happened. Police call what then unfolded on South Street contagious gunfire, where other shootings follow initial gunfire. Investigators so far have two alleged shooters in custody. They're searching for at least one more, a man believed to have been armed with a 40 caliber handgun. Meanwhile, heading into a busy summer season, police recruitment remains an issue, with the department struggling to fill vacancies. Too many guns on the streets is also a point well argued today. Councilman Mark Squilla adds police need more support. What can the police do? What can't they do? We need to make sure that we have their backs. We're expecting them to do certain things.